I'll admit that this issue has not traditionally been in my wheelhouse. Congressman Jennifer Wexton used what she calls her new voice to talk about something she's become all too familiar with. I'm a prosecutor by trade, not a neurologist. But over the past year, I've come to know a whole lot about what makes for a healthy brain and what it means to battle a debilitating brain disease. Congresswoman Wexton was diagnosed last year with a neurological disorder that makes it harder for her to speak and move. This bill seeks to better understand the why of how people like me get these types of diseases. Today on Capitol Hill, Wexton was joined by representatives of the Michael J. Fox Foundation and other advocates calling for resources to better diagnose, treat, and ultimately cure neurological diseases like hers and so many others. The Healthy Brains Act would ramp up research into the environmental risks for neurodegenerative diseases by directing the National Institutes of Health to establish collaborative centers for neurodegenerative disease environmental research to conduct and support basic applied and clinical research on the effects of environmental risk factors. Wexton recently worked with an artificial intelligence company to recreate her voice. Just last week, she made history by becoming the first member to give a speech on the House floor and into the congressional record using AI. I certainly have not allowed my new challenges to define me. Wexton decided not to run for re-election because of her illness, but the congresswoman said that she's inspired by people who have been impacted by her determination to finish out her term. Over the past year, hearing from so many people who have found support in their own struggles as they've watched me battle my PSP, working closely with incredible groups like those here today, and seeing the opportunity to make a difference using this platform. My resolve to keep doing this job I love has never been stronger or clearer. The Healthy Brains Act is co-sponsored by Florida Republican Congressman Gus Borekis.